Param Shanti to all the divine souls. Our salutations to beloved Bapuji and Brahmama. Welcome to the day 7 of the Behad Gyan course. Please note, Behad Gyan is purely given through the divine vision of Bapuji and is not mentioned in any scriptures nor spoken by any saints. It's our sincere request not to disrespect this knowledge. To all those who are listening to this knowledge called as Behad Gyan, for the first time, we request you to start watching from the day one of the 10-day Behad Gyan course to get an idea of what is Behad Gyan all about. After which, you can visit Bapuji the Shudbai Patel YouTube channel where Bapuji has spoken a lot on several interesting topics. Day 7, we will learn about some fascinating secrets of our multiverse. When was mind and heart created? When did souls come from Nirakari to Akari to Sakari form? As per Bhagavad Gita, when Lord Krishna shows the Virat Swarup, Arjun realizes that in just a minuscule of his divine energy, he could see infinite solar systems revolving. As per Yoga Vashisht also, it has been told that there are infinite creations and they are made of different elements. There are different dimensions of creations like galaxy, universe, multiverse, but the foundation for all is the same, that we have come from Param Life to Param Tattvas to Tattvas. Even the knowledge of Big Bang Theory is limited to the elements, but the truth is that we have all come from a divine conscious energy and the creation is running through this divine conscious energy. There is a need to understand that science has come from the power of silence. When there was power in silence, there was no need of science. Bapuji has mentioned in every creation, be it a solar system, galaxy or universe, the creator resides at the center point with a certain energy that helps run their creation. This energy has gravitational force. When the power of the creator and the creation goes down completely, and when the age of the creator gets over, then the creator creates Kalagni, which is called the fire of dissolution, and absorbs the entire creation, thus the creation becomes a black hole. Also, black holes with more gravitational force eat or attract the black holes with less gravitational force. In the previous episodes, we have spoken about the power in the creators of solar system, galaxy and universe and also about great universes. Now let's understand how our multiverse came down from 100 color to minus 100 color. In our multiverse, there are creations from G1 to G17. There are infinite universes, galaxies and solar systems inside this multiverse. Why is our multiverse so different? Firstly, because Almighty Authority Himself has come in our multiverse. Secondly, because it's only in our multiverse that there are five gross physical elements and our Earth, to be specific, has Earth and Water elements. In other multiverses, there are no five gross physical elements. Now you might wonder why is there a need to know about our multiverse? Well, if you want to cross the world made of gross elements, tattvas, and go to the world made of param tattvas and further to the world made of param light, then you must have an idea of the infinite vast creations above our earth. Viewers, please note, as we progress to the higher dimensions, the power of the color in the creator of that creation increases. Now our multiverse when it was created had 100 color and that's why it is called 100 color ka brahmand and the creator of our multiverse is called Param Days to 100 Mahashiv. Let us understand how our multiverse was created. The number 108 which is often spoken about according to Bapuji is actually related to our multiverse. This is the picture of how our multiverse got created. The source of creation of the multiverse was the ball of light which was of 100 color power who is Param Days to 100 Mahashif that is the Nirakar form or the incorporeal form of the multiverse's creator. The light is surrounded by the might. Might is the rays of the light or the strength of the light. Till where the light rays reach there is might. Might is also called as Param Mahatattva. There is space or atmosphere in every creation. At the beginning, there was an atmosphere of Param Prakash and Param Mahatattva here. When Param Days 200 Mahashiv created a very subtle thought or sankal to become many from one or to make creations, this created a fluctuation in the atmosphere there. When this happened, 5% power from Param Prakash came out and was given the name 100 Kala Ka Brahmand. 
Just like for every creation, the Trinity is created. Similarly, from the above-mentioned ball of power, Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar were created and were given the name Param Days to 100 Maha Brahma, Param Days to 100 Maha Vishnu and Param Days to 100 Maha Shankar, each having 100 Kala in them. Each of the Trinity, Param Days to 100 Maha Brahma, Param Days to 100 Maha Vishnu and Param Days to 100 Maha Shankar, created three souls each. Total came to nine souls and these nine souls are called nine gems or Naudatan. These nine souls each created three souls and total comes up to 27 souls. Up till the creation of 27 souls, all the souls were in the incorporeal form. These 21, 27 souls which had 100 color created a space which had a boundary and inside the space the multiverse and creation of souls took place. The 27 souls created three souls each. In total there were 81 souls created. When you add up 27 and 81, it gives us the count of the mighty 108 souls. As the count of the souls increased, the power of the creation also came down. From 100 Kala to 90 Kala, souls were created in the incorporeal forms and together 9 lakh souls were created. This space from 100 Kala to 90 Kala is called as Paramdam. Here the souls live in complete and pure soul conscious state and the atmosphere of Paramdam is made of Supreme Light, that is Param Prakash, and Supreme Divine Element, that is Param Mahatattva. The dimension between 90 Kala to 80 Kala is called as Mool Vatan, or the semi-incorporeal world. This is the transition world where souls from the incorporeal form attain supreme subtle forms, assuming shape in an energy form. How does a soul change its state of being from formless, that is Nirakari, to a supreme subtle form, that is Akari? Similar to initial sprouting of seed, initially a soul undergoes the process of transformation from incorporeal pure light form to indefinite subtle supreme form by acquiring an indefinite shape like the roots emerging from the seed in a random manner. This state we can call as the semi-incorporeal form, a transition form after reduction of power when soul cannot further maintain its incorporeal state due to increase in editation. In the process of transformation, the soul is subjected to reactions of its own vibrations to emerge as a nebulous shape from all sides. When the soul in the corporeal form creates through affirmation, then energy of the soul also radiates in all directions which constitutes the atmosphere of that dimension of that creation. Loss in energy resulted in the formation of atmosphere of supreme ether element or the Param Akash Tattva. Here, along with the Param Maha Tattva, souls got shielded by another layer that is Param Akash Tattva or the Supreme Ether Element. The population of souls reached to two crores. Here, the souls were in the combined light might form. The dimension between 80 Kala to 60 Kala is called as Subtle World or the Sukshmavatan. With the power of affirmation, the creation kept on multiplying and the power of the souls kept on decreasing. From 2 crore, that is 20 million, the number of souls reached up to 33 crore souls. The quality in the atmosphere as well as the power in the souls continuously decreased and reached to 60 color. In this dimension of creation, the supreme air element, that is Param Vayu, and the supreme fire element, that is Param Agni, started to form. Here, souls started taking very subtle forms with a definite shape. We can call this body as a subtle body. So the souls now had a definite shape and subtle body. The Param Vayu Tattva, that is the supreme element, determines the subtle body of the soul. The thoughts generated by a soul agitates the air element and hence the soul takes a specific shape. That's why in spiritual science it's said that the creation was performed by the power of thought. In 60 Kala dimension, the Param Akash Tattva, the Param Vayu Tattva, and Param Agni Tutva got created in the atmosphere. The souls in this dimension are called Param Purusha of the Hundred Kala Multiverse. Here, the Param Purush, based on their sanskars, created their Param Prakriti or their divine feminine counterpart soul having the same sanskars. The process of creation of divine goddesses by each of the 33 crore souls based on their nature or sanskars resulted in a total of 
66 crore souls, but there was a loss of soul power involved in creation via thoughts. The desire to create the feminine counterpart resulted in the creation of the heart. So there was a fall in the power from 60 color to 40 color. Various dimensions of universes like G17, G16, G15, etc. were started to be created by Param Purush and pra Param Prakriti in the 60 kala. As the soul power was used in more and more creations, the multiverse which was of 100 kala fell down to zero kala. In zero kala, supreme elements became heavier and so gross elements started to develop. This is the picture of the present state of our multiverse. Slowly, the power in the creation descended to minus 10 color, then to minus 20 color, minus 30 color and so on, and finally to minus 100 color. Here, minus 10 color creation was composed of 90% Param Tattva and 10% Tattva. Minus 10 color creation was composed of 80% Param Tattva and 20% Tattva, and finally to minus 100 color. When the creation came down to minus 30 color, the water and earth elements also got created. Now we shall understand about the present situation of our multiverse. At minus 15 color, our G17 has come down and below this, all the other great universes and the other creations fall by. The creator of the multiverse is now present in zero color. Between zero to minus 15 color, many souls in their groups like 108, 16,000, 9 lakh souls are living here. When was our universe created? When the creation dropped down to minus 84 color, that time the universe was created. The creator of our multiverse is the one with 101 color. The multiverse which was of 100 color has now come down to minus 100 color. That which was of Param light and an immortal world has now come down to a five elemental mortal world. Please note, in the next videos, you will realize that the creation does not stop here. There, there are creations given the name as PDs, which have been witnessed by Bapuji through his divine vision and even creations beyond that, above 1,10,010 color, which cannot be comprehended by anyone on earth. One cannot imagine from how far the almighty authority has come down just for us to transform our multiverse and save us all. Now you must be wondering and having the question, what is the goal of this organization? The goal of Bapuji is to transform the entire multiverse by spreading the vibrations of Paran Shanti and by converting the physical gross elements, supreme subtle elements that is Param Tattvas. This can only be done by yoga, by connecting with the almighty authority, charging our souls with Param Light and spreading the vibrations of Param Shanti. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more such thought-provoking content. Stay curious and keep exploring. Param Shanti Join us daily for our morning live meditation Monday to Saturday 5.30 to 6.30 a.m. Join us daily for live meditation, 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. on YouTube Live. Subscribe now. Website www.paramshanti.org Email us anand at paramshanti.org Like, share, subscribe. Join today.